48, but getting into the Canadian Maritimes as well. Those would be some areas that also have to feel some of the impacts, direct impacts possibly uh, going on there. So that's the story with Dorian, uh, Dr. Nam, a, a, a powerful system that no doubt will be in the history books. Uh, but, you know, in the season that we are in, still a lot to go. And nobody wants to hear me say that the hurricane season is only about half over, right? But that's just the reality of it, and it's hard to keep September completely down from this point forward. And uh, got a lot of circles on the map to show you. Now, not all of them are of great concern to land areas, but some of them could eventually be. So in addition to Hurricane Dorian, we have a couple of areas to watch, including Invest 94L. There's another tropical storm, uh, Gabrielle. And if you were so focused on Dorian, legitimately so, and uh, didn't realize that we briefly had tropical storm air in between the Carolinas and Bermuda, and we also had tropical storm Fernand go into Mexico, uh, that's why uh, the next one would be named Umberto, and then after that, Imelda. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if those names get used at some point. Uh, here is Dorian being taken to the northeast uh, toward Canada by this trough, and then we have this big mid-oceanic trough here. Now that is going to probably keep this little area to watch from developing, so I'm not really worried about that too much. And then this big upper level low, that is what is causing Tropical Storm Gabrielle to be so sheared right now. And we'll probably also steer it northward. Then we got to watch this tropical wave out by the Cabo Verde Island. So let's look at Tropical Storm Gabrielle. This is uh, way out in the middle of the Atlantic, uh, 45 mile an hour winds right now moving northwestward. But eventually, this is going to take a right hand turn ahead of Dorian. Uh, kind of the same uh, mid latitude steering flow that's going to cause us to race quickly out to the northeast. But that's just a heads up that you might see another hurricane uh, come across the headlines, but uh, that would be out over the open waters of the uh, north central Atlantic. So not concerned about that very much for land areas. Now, here is the one that we're going to have to watch during the next week. This is a tropical wave uh, that's led to the development of an area of low pressure just west of the Cabo Verde Islands. This will be headed straight westward, and the Hurricane Center is giving that a high chance of becoming a tropical depression or tropical storm the next five days. Probably not over the weekend, but next week it will have that opportunity. Here's that area of low pressure. You see the spin on the satellite imagery there. That is a, a tropical wave that departed Africa, but now you're getting a little bit of thunderstorm activity, a little bit of well-defined spin there. Let's track it in the models. The colors are low-level spin, and the traveling white lines are upper-level winds. And here comes the spin in the European model over the next couple of days. You can follow it. Probably doesn't develop over the weekend, but then here it comes. Westward it goes over the warm waters, the increasingly warm waters the farther west you go over the main development region. And it's, it's holding together into the uh, middle part, late, latter part of next week, but it's just too early, Alex, for us to know if this will ever really become strong or affect land. But Dorian was an innocent tropical wave at 1.2, so got to watch each and every one of these. Yeah, we will absolutely be doing that. Uh, eyes perked up. We are at the peak time, and no doubt about it, we'll be watching a lot of these things very, very closely. Plenty more to come as Hurricane Dorian turns in the Atlantic. Okay, this is just the next forecast that they're showing us all the tropical threats that have a chance of developing. Um, that's Tropical Storm Gabriel, and it looks like it's going to do a huge right hook, kind of like the last few systems have. Um, but there's one coming off of the African coast that I just want you to watch a couple things. Um, they're giving it a pretty good chance, 70% over the next five days but I just I, I just want you to watch the dates and I, this is probably just a coincidence but it still uh, when I see this date always sends off red flags to me and especially when they stop it and talk about it being possible to form at that date right here okay now they you know they say watch the you know watch the models as they move you know you'll start seeing it coming up you know it's right there but then you'll start seeing it come together but watch the date that they stop on that's the date that they said it could form and then they said oh it might not look like too much right now but neither was Dorian Atlantic lit up with tropical activity
Everybody just needs to stay aware. Just keep watching each other's backs and just, just pray. God bless everybody.